Today is a day for celebration and excitement. It's official. The Water Resources Development Act was passed by Congress, and we have authorization to expand the Houston Ship Channel. Hello, I'm Roger Gunther, Executive Director of Port Houston. Today's announcement is big. The authorization to widen and deepen the Houston Ship Channel is big for our region, the state of Texas, and our nation. It is big for economic prosperity and growth of industry that is served by the busiest waterway in the country. That's why we've put together today's special program to share more about this exciting development with all of you. Hi, I'm Texas Senator John Cornyn. This year's water infrastructure bill is right around the corner, and I'm proud to say that a number of Texas priorities have been included. At the top of that list is authorization of the Houston Chip Channel Expansion Improvement Project, which I advocated for. This project is great news for both the Port of Houston and Texans and the rest of the country, and I'm delighted to see it included in this year's bill. Thanks again for allowing me to join you virtually and stay safe out there. I'm Congresswoman Lizzie Fletcher, representing Texas's 7th Congressional District in Houston. I'm so glad to be joining y'all virtually today as we celebrate passage of the Water Resources Development Act of 2020, and with it, the authorization for the Houston Ship Channel Expansion Project, Project 11. It is a project that is critical to one of our country's most important assets. Expanding the Houston Ship Channel is a smart and much needed investment to our infrastructure that will allow the port to grow and accommodate increased demand safely. Since I arrived in Congress, I've been working with the Port of Houston, the Army Corps of Engineers, and with my colleagues on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee on both sides of the aisle to move the project forward, not only authorizing this project, but ensuring that the entirety of the channel will be federally maintained. I'm so glad to see Word of 2020 pass both chambers of Congress as this Congress concludes, and I look forward to continuing our work together in the next Congress. Southeast Texas is the global leader in creating reliable, affordable energy, and the key to that success is found in the Port of Houston and the expansion of the Houston Ship Channel. Modernizing and improving our infrastructure is fundamental to not only advancing our country's energy independence, but also improving our national security and providing goods and services that support our growing economy. I'm pleased to have helped lead efforts to ensure that provisions supporting the port and channel passed in the House's 2020 Water Resources Development Act. This is a critical milestone for our region. From conversations with the port and companies who utilize the channel, to meetings with Secretary James of the Army Corps and leaders at OMB, the Houston delegation and I have supported the channel's expansion project in every way that we can. Our work here is not yet done, but I will continue to support this project and work to secure a new start designation to begin construction as soon as possible. I'm proud to represent the Port of Houston and the Channel and the more than one million people who work tirelessly to make this the greatest port in the world. Thank you. The Houston Ship Channel already supports 3.2 million jobs in the nation, with 1.35 million of those being right here in Texas. It has an economic impact of $802 billion nationally, and now, under this Water Resources Development Act legislation, or WERDA, we are making the Houston Ship Channel safer and more efficient for commerce in the future to help ensure it remains the economic and jobs driver it is today. As the advocate and a strategic leader of the Houston Ship Channel, Port Houston is a major driving force behind the continued growth of this vital waterway. We are a steward of progress, but we aren't doing it alone. It takes a lot of support to be included in a word of bill, and this exciting step would not have been possible without the support of so many, including our elected officials. We are so very grateful to all the elected officials who have been vital to this effort. They have advocated, educated, and voted in support of expanding the Houston Ship Channel, a project we call Project 11. Let's hear from a few of our supporters now. Just this week, the House passed the Water Resource Development Act, a major step in constructing the Port of Houston's Ship Channel Expansion Project, a port home to roughly 3.2 million jobs. 
This project allows us to continue maintaining and growing the crown jewel of the Texas economy and one of the most important infrastructure assets in the entire country. For my career in the Senate, I have pledged to work every day to help create good paying jobs for Texans in every corner of our great state. And job creation continues to be my very top priority. Authorizing this project is not only in keeping with this commitment, but it will accommodate anticipated growth in energy and manufacturing exports. And it will help ensure that our ports continue to have the capacity necessary to make Texas and the United States the energy leader of the world for decades to come. Great news, everyone. As you know, Congress has passed the Water Resources Development Act, and within that piece of legislation is the expansion of the Houston Ship Channel. And this has been the result of, frankly, years of hard work by all of you and um, bipartisan efforts by the Houston delegation, of which I am very proud to be a part of. So why is this important? Well, I don't need to explain that to you, but let's say it anyway. Uh, it supports about $800 billion uh, economically throughout the nation and 1.3 million jobs in Texas alone. Uh, this is huge, right? This is what makes us a national player, this port and all of the hard work that you do. So congratulations, uh, thank you, and really glad to be a part of this team. Hi, this is Sylvia with a very exciting update. This week, Congress passed the Water Resources Development Act of 2020. This bill is great news for our region and Texas. This bill will allow the Port of Houston to make needed investments for widening and deepening our shallows. This will promote economic growth in an environmentally sustainable way. The Port of Houston is a major economic driver, not just for Houston, but for the entire United States. This bill properly equips the Houston region to ensure that we continue being global leaders in trade. Lastly, I want to thank Speaker Pelosi, who joined me in Houston earlier this year for a visit to the Port of Houston. Thanks to her leadership and that of the regional Houston delegation, we were able to ensure that the Port of Houston was included in this very important bill. Thanks for listening for, to this update. Take care and God bless. Hello, friends. I'm your Congressman Al Green, a proud supporter of the Houston Ship Channel, a great contributor to the American economy. Last year alone, the traffic through the ship channel increased by 6%, creating 180,000 new jobs. And with the passage of the water bill, we'll be able to enhance our infrastructure so that we can bring on the Panamax vessels, the big vessels. Yes, we have come a long way since 1914, but my dear friends, the best is yet to come. We want to say thank you to every one of the elected officials who supported WERDA and Project 11. This includes Senator John Cornyn, Senator Ted Cruz, Congresswoman Lizzie Fletcher, Congressman Brian Babin, Congressman Randy Weber, Congressman Jody Arrington, Congressman Kevin Brady, Congressman Dan Crenshaw, Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia, Congressman Al Green, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, Congressman Michael McCall, and Congressman Pete Olson. Again, Thanks to all of you for your support of the Houston Ship Channel expansion. Today's word of success didn't happen overnight. It took many years of planning. To tell you a little more about that, here's our Port Commission Chairman, Rick Campo. Thank you, Roger. As Chairman of the Commission, I wanna add my congratulations to you and everyone at Port Houston for driving this change forward for leading the way towards progress that will help the Houston Ship Channel remain the economic powerhouse that it is today. Planning for the deepening and widening of the Houston Ship Channel has been our top priority. This planning includes everything from initial designs to discussions with congressional members. Team Port Houston continues to emphasize the importance and urgencies of this expansion. We have invested more than $40 million in this project so far, which has accelerated the start of construction by at least two years. Vessel sizes are getting larger, 
driving industry efficiency and making the channel more difficult to navigate. A wider channel is a safer channel. We are working to widen the Bay Reach part of the channel from 530 feet to 700 feet and deepening some upstream segments to 45 feet. Project 11 will benefit the more than 200 private users of the channel. Project 11 is expected to improve regional air quality by increasing the efficiency of vessel movements and reducing potential congestion along the Houston Ship Channel. New bird islands and oyster reefs will be built as part of the project. The bottom line is an expanded channel will positively impact the flow of goods in and out of our region. Let's take a closer look at Project 11 and what it means for all of us in Houston. The Houston Ship Channel and nearly 200 facilities doing business alongside it are an integral part of the regional, state, and national economy. You may not realize it, but this channel is an economic powerhouse, a unique waterway that has driven and shaped our great city for more than a century. Steel to the liquid bulk that supports our vast petrochemical complex to the everyday items in your household and everything in between has crossed Houston's docks. Today, Houston's port supports 3.2 million U.S. jobs and generates $802 billion in economic value nationally, making it the largest port in the country for foreign-born cargo and keeping Texas and our region as the top exporters in the nation. Simply put, the Houston Ship Channel plays a meaningful part in all of our lives. Maintaining and growing these economic benefits requires planning and investing in the channel's future. Expanding the Houston Ship Channel, the busiest deep draft waterway in the nation, is critical to safely and efficiently sustaining national energy security, domestic manufacturing growth, thriving U.S. exports, and expanding job opportunities. As the local sponsor of this crucial federal waterway, Port Houston is partnering with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers as well as private industry on a plan to expand the channel at an accelerated pace. This plan is known as Project 11, representing the 11th major improvement project in the channel's 150 plus year history as a commercial waterway. Project 11 will widen the channel by 170 feet along its Galveston Bay reach from 530 feet to 700 feet, deepen upstream segments up to 45 feet, construct new environmental features, improve air quality by enabling more efficient vessel movements, resulting in reduced emissions, accommodate larger vessels, and make other efficiency improvements. A wider channel is a safer channel. As vessel sizes increase and cargo numbers rise, we must prepare to handle the demand. The Houston Ship Channel expansion is vital to the continued prosperity of the greater Houston region, the state, and the nation. Throughout our history, during times of economic prosperity or recovery, the Ship Channel has played a critical role in facilitating growth and commerce for those employers and manufacturers who rely on this nationally significant waterway. For more information about this project, to provide comments, or to join the project mailing list, visit expandthehoustonshipchannel.com or email the project team at project11 at porthouston.com. As you can see, this project is exciting growth for all of us. I want to recognize and thank my fellow commissioners for their commitment to this project, to the Houston Ship Channel, to providing jobs for Houstonians, and for their understanding of the importance of this waterway to our national economy. Dean Corgi, Clyde Fitzgerald, Stephen Don Carlos, Roy Meese, Wendy Montoya Clunan, and Cheryl Crizo, it is a pleasure to serve with you. Like Roger, I also want to thank and recognize the many elected officials who helped us get to this point. Thank you to both Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick for your support of the Houston Ship Channel expansion. A project of this magnitude involves a lot of people, including the entire Port Houston staff. I want to say to our team, your work is making a difference. Your hard work is not going unnoticed, and we thank you for your commitment. It's been a long road. And I'm proud of the team for reaching today's milestone. Thank you. Thank you, Rick, and to all of our port commissioners. 
There are indeed so many people who are instrumental with Project 11 and with our continuing success here in Houston. And I add my thanks to our amazing Port Houston team. The growth of the Houston Ship Channel and the supply chain means growth of jobs in the market. I mentioned earlier that the Houston Ship Channel supports 1.35 million jobs in Texas. That's a huge number, and it's a number that equates to people, to workers who are making a good living wage to support their families. I want to express my appreciation to the ILA. Without these workers, we wouldn't have smooth flow of commerce on our docks, and we will continue to work closely with them in the best interests of the channel. I also want to applaud the Houston pilots who safely steer ocean-going vessels through the channel every single day. The Houston Ship Channel is the busiest waterway in the nation, with on average 50 deep draft transits every day. We have some of the most skilled pilots in the nation and one of the most challenging channels to navigate. We are thrilled that Project 11 will mean a safer channel for these experts to move through. To the seafarers who dedicate their lives to the water and also to the Greater Houston Port Bureau, thank you for your commitment to this project and to enhancing Houston's waterborne commerce. I must recognize the many industry partners we've worked with to get Project 11 to this point and that we continue to work with through completion of the widening and deepening of the channel. Port Houston represents the eight public terminals, but there are nearly 200 private terminals along the Houston Ship Channel, and many of them have actively participated in driving this expansion project. Here are messages from these important partners. Hi, I'm Jim D. Co. CEO of Enterprise Products Partners, and I'm here to tell you that the Houston Ship Channel, the catalyst for Houston growing to the fourth largest city in the U.S. and the most important export port for hydrocarbons in the country, needs a Project 11, uh, needs a new start designation for Project 11. This is a project to widen the ship channel and we're gonna pay for it locally. So I urge you, support a new start designation for this Project 11 on the Houston Ship Channel. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alan Robb. I'm with the International Longshoremen's Association, and I'd like to send out congratulations to the Port of Houston and all the stakeholders involved in the port for the passage of the word of bill. I'd also like to thank all of our elected officials uh, from the local level to the state and federal levels for all of their hard work on this bill. The Longshoremen's Association recognizes that this bill means good jobs, and good jobs mean a good economy. Thanks very much. On behalf of the Houston Pilots, I'd like to congratulate the Port Houston Authority as we reach another milestone in Project 11, the passage of Ward in 2020. For over 100 years, the Port Authority has led efforts to make the Houston Ship Channel what it is today, the busiest ship channel in the country. I'd also like to thank all of our Texas elected officials who have worked hard to have Project 11 included in Ward this year. Your determination and focus that brought us one step closer to improving the national asset we call the Houston Ship Channel. The Houston pilots are proud to be part of the maritime community that has made the Houston Ship Channel the success it is today. Number one in total water barn tonnage, number one in foreign water barn tonnage, and the largest container port on the Gulf Coast. Greetings to the Port of Houston. I'm Commissioner Dean Corgi and the Vice President of the Seafarers Union. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our congressional delegation, as well as Congresswoman Lizzie Fletcher, Congressman Brian Babin, and Senator John Cornyn for their leadership in moving this bill through Congress. This is an important piece of legislation, not only for the region, but for our union as well. There are currently 23 U.S. flag container ships calling on our port, as well as dozens of U.S. flag tankers. These are important jobs for not only my union, but for the region. Thanks again, Merry Christmas, and have a great new year. Greetings, everyone. On behalf of all the 220 member companies of the Greater Houston Port Bureau, we celebrate Congress's passing of WARDA, including the authorization of Project 11, widening and deepening of the Houston Ship Channel. This port is an incredibly important part of our local economy here in the Greater Houston area. And as the largest port in the United States, it is also vital to the economy of Texas and the nation as a whole. Project 11 secures the future growth and safety of the Port of Houston for generations to come. 
I extend a big thank you to everyone on the team that have worked so hard to make this happen and for the support from our congressional delegation. Thank you. On behalf of everyone involved in Project 11, thank you all for your continued support of Houston's maritime industry. Our internal project team has been working in partnership with the United States Army Corps of Engineers as the Houston Ship Channel is a federal waterway. The Corps is instrumental to this process and vital as we continue forward. We have also received the support of teams at the Greater Houston Partnership and the West Gulf Maritime Association, or WGMA. Here are a few messages from these groups. Hi, I'm Colonel Tim Vell, commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Galveston District. With the recent passage of the Water Resource Development Act, also known as WERDA, Congress affirmatively and officially designates their support for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Chief Report for the Houston Ship Channel Expansion and Improvement Project known locally as Project 11. The Army recognizes the Houston Ship Channel as the busiest waterway in the nation, handling on average 50 deep water vessels per day, while also supporting 1.35 million jobs in the state of Texas, while also providing over $802 billion in economic value to the nation every year. The United States Army has a long and storied history with the Port of Houston and the Texas Gulf Coast going all the way back to 1880. With the passage of the Water Resource Development Act, Project 11 will become part of that history and the legacy of partnership between the United States Army and the Corps of Engineers as we continue to create value for this great nation. Congratulations to the Army team and to the Port team on achieving this tremendous milestone. Hello, I'm Bob Harvey, President and CEO of the Greater Houston Partnership. And it's my pleasure to congratulate my friends at Port Houston for two major accomplishments. One, being recognized as the number one port in the nation for waterborne tonnage. You know, for years we've had to say number one in the nation for foreign waterborne tonnage. We can now drop that qualifier. Number one port in the nation for waterborne tonnage. Fantastic. And the other major accomplishment is getting the language that we needed into WERDA uh, to handle the widening and deepening of the ship channel. I know we're now in the consensus draft of that document, uh, we're just waiting for congressional action. And we would hope to have that certainly before the close of this section. So congratulations to everyone involved in those two major accomplishments. Hi, my name is Shereen Armand, and I'm president of the West Gulf Maritime Association. For the last 24 years, the Port of Houston has been a leader in foreign tonnage. The WGMA has been a proud partner in supporting this endeavor. To continue as a leader into the future, deepening and widening of the Houston Ship Channel is a necessity. With final agreement of WERDA 2020 reached, this need is quickly becoming a reality. However, it would not be possible without the continued strong support of our elected officials who realize the importance of the Houston Ship Channel to our nation's economy. For that, we give our sincere thanks and appreciation. Thank you again to all those who partner with us as stewards of the Houston Ship Channel. There's still work to be done, but today we are celebrating. We are celebrating the milestone passing of the WERDA bill and what that means for our Houston Ship Channel. Let's hear from a few more of the elected officials who made this success in Congress happen. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and I'm distanced enough to take off this mask. As you can see, I'm in Washington, D.C., but we must be masked and socially distant. But I'm so excited uh, because uh, of being part of the passage of the Word of Bill in the United States House of Representatives. I know how important that bill and the language in that bill is to our great Houston court. And I am celebrating along with our family of court members, our board, and workers, and many others. For example, this legislation will, in fact, allow the port to widen and deepen uh, the uh, port size so that more large worldwide vessels can come. That is a big step forward. And of course, we realize that the port represents a large part of the nation's national security and of course, uh, energy security by providing the largest part of energy resources for the nation's aviation and other needs that the nation has. This is a great step forward 
It will provide greater revenue and worker safety uh, and expanded jobs, which is so very important. And of course, we know that the port has become number one uh, in tonnage for waterborne vessels. So much is coming about because of the passage of the word of legislation and the impact that it will have on the Houston port. Again, I'm excited to be part of it. I want to congratulate the port for its great leadership in the industry, but more importantly, what it represents economically to our community and the fact that it can now widen and deepen uh, this port uh, to ensure that it has not only a national uh, image, if you will, but an international image. Congratulations again, and we look forward to working with you in the legislative session in Washington in 2021. Thank you again. Greetings from my own town of Sugar Land, Texas. As y'all can see, I'm at the intersection of US 98 and Burke Street, right in the heart of Sugar Land. Right behind me is the iconic Imperial Sugar Factory. Between me and the factory are two railroad tracks going in each direction. I know the Port of Houston is about 30 miles away from Sugarland. Why am I talking about Sugarland? Well, I'm talking about Werda and the Port of Houston and the Houston Ship Channel. It's very simple, my friends. Without that port, that ship channel, this town would still be the largest prison in the world as it was 100 years ago. And that's why passing the most recent water bill was so important. Our port will be deeper and wider. And that means we can maintain our leadership as America's number one port in terms of gross tonnage. I'd like to close with an ask for a Christmas present during this holiday season. The name Port of Houston and Houston Ship Channel is extremely misleading. Let's call it what it is. America's port and America's Ship Channel. Have a great holiday season. Merry Christmas. Hi everybody, Adrian Garcia, County Commissioner of Precinct 2. As the commissioner with the Port of Houston in my precinct, I'm incredibly excited and proud to congratulate the Port of Houston on their work in passing the Water Resources Development Act. This is huge. This is an incredible milestone for our region, our state, and our nation, and obviously for Project 11. This underscores the importance and the significance of deepening and widening our port. We are the busiest port in the nation, handling approximately 50 deep water vessels a day. And with this passing of the Water Resources Development Act, if this will be an incredible boom for our economy, encouraging growth, for today, tomorrow, and the future and beyond. Congratulations to the Port of Houston. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your work and go get it. Hello, this is Mayor Sylvester Turner. I congratulate Port Houston on the historic passage of the Water Resources Development Act. The federal legislation authorizes the expansion channel improvement project that allows the Houston Ship Channel to widen and provide for ongoing future maintenance and growth of the entire channel. The Houston Ship Channel is the nation's busiest waterway handling on average approximately 50 deep water vessels per day and now ranked the number one port in the nation for waterborne tonnage. As I congratulate the port for this milestone, I also thank our Houston area congressional delegation that supported the project, a critical investment in infrastructure. Again, thank you to all the elected officials who are a part of the word of bill. We are grateful for your support. I want to take a moment to recognize another important milestone Houston's port recently reached. For the first time, Houston is the number one port in total tonnage. This is huge. The Houston Ship Channel and the public and private terminals moved nearly 285 million tons of cargo in 2019. That was about 47 million tons more than any other U.S. port and a 6% increase compared to the previous year. This is a major accomplishment and one we should all be proud of. This ranking is according to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Navigation and Civil Works Decision Support Center, which tracks and compiles the statistics. 
And this is the first time Houston has reached the top spot. Houston also continues to be the leader for foreign waterborne tonnage, as it has been for 24 years. This is a great success, and it also underscores the importance of growing the channel to meet the growing needs of the maritime industry. It highlights the need to expedite the improvements to the Houston Ship Channel to ensure safe and efficient trade for the nation. Today's announcement of the word of bill passing is significant, but our work is not done. The next step in the project delivery process will be to secure a new start designation from the administration and discretionary funding from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Over the next couple of months, our teams will be advocating toward this next benchmark. But today we celebrate. I hope you all take a moment to smile, breathe, and enjoy this accomplishment. I want to thank everyone for their dedication and support and for helping ensure the Houston Ship Channel will continue to be the vital artery to our supply chain that it is today. For helping ensure that it and the jobs that depend on it continue to thrive for generations to come. I look forward to the progress to come in 2021. Congratulations and thank you.